Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Angela. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Before I get started, I want to go over my disclaimers. If you are in immediate danger, please call 911 or you can reach out to the domestic hotline at 800-799-SAFE, 800-799-7233. And for mental health resources, reach out to NAMI at 800-950-NAMI, 800-950-6233. Three, three, I'm sorry, 6264. And um, for additional resources, reach out to the National Suicide Hotline at 988. You can either text or call that number. With that being said, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. So today I want to talk to you, uh, and I made some notes about uh, the narcissist and how they're jealous of you. So because you have decided to move on and <clears throat> what they can see is out of all the things that they put you through, it never broke you down completely to where you um, just couldn't get, couldn't recover from it. Um, you took these blows and punches uh, like a true champion. So for that, they're jealous. You know, they envy the strength that you have. Because you you went through uh, hell and high water with this person. And so they look back and they see that um, they could have never done this. You know, they could have never put up with somebody treating them the way that they treated you. So they're jealous of that. And this comes with a little story time. I'll never forget um, when my myself and my ex-husband, we relocated back to my home state. And... Um, I was looking for a job, you know, so we're um, back here and um, I got a job pretty quickly. And believe it or not, it was driving the city bus. So um, what was getting me down was passing the CDL license. You know, you have, um, I think it was seven times to take this test and pass it so you could uh, get your license. So it was like every time I took the test, I took it, I think it was three or four times. Every time I took it, I was like two questions uh, off from the score that I needed and the score needed to be a 70. So I was always anywhere between 65 and 67. It was just like uh, stressing me out because um, I knew it, but I just, when they would, you know, when you take a test, they give you new questions. So I'm prepared for what I... Uh, didn't pass the first time. So anyway, I'm, you know, I'm going back and I'm taking the test as many times as I need to. And I knew I had seven times. And I never forget on the last time I took the test, my ex said, um, you really have, he said, you really don't let things go. He said, you're really dedicated to passing this test. And he said, I would have been have given up. And he said, but with you, you just keep going. And it wasn't said to me out of uh, admiration for me to continue to go on. It was more like uh, this, girl, you should just stop. You know, why don't you just give it up? That was the way he said it to me. And so I said, yeah, well, uh, we need employment. And I said, so... I'm, you know, this is one way to get my foot in the door. And I said, um, I can do this part time. And then he said, yeah, well, I guess. And there was no support. But um, just looking back and thinking about how he said this, I just remember the look on his face and uh, the jealousy of if I was you, I, I would just, I would quit and I couldn't do this, you know, but I had this per perseverance that kept me going and it drives me to continue to go. So uh, needless to say, I did get my CDL license, you know, and I carried my license uh, for a year. And it was just, um, even when I got it, it was no celebration from his end. He um, was like, oh, good, you finally passed. You know, and you suspect your significant other to be there for you, to be rooting with you. But the reason why a narcissist can't be there for you is because they're jealous. Anything that you try to do, that you succeed in, whether you fall down a few times, but you get back, you pick up yourself and you do it, 
it makes them so envy of you. And that's why they continue to go hard to criticize you. So I want you to remember, and I want you to think back when you knew that you was doing something that was going to benefit not just you, but the family. And um, you didn't give up. And they tried to make you feel like you should just quit. You know, so I want you to understand that's jealousy. You know, no one in your circle or someone that really cares for you should be in your ear telling you, oh, you should just give up and not to do this. They should be rooting for you and cheering you on. So when you have a person that's in your life that's saying the opposite that you thought that loved you or and you love this person, that's jealousy and you need to see it for what it is. And I know Monday I talked about um, how a lot of us has walked walking away from the uh, narcissist relationships. However, that, you know, divorces have been final. Um, we have broken up. They have walked away from us. Uh, but for the ones that are still in this relationship and you trying to figure out if this person really love you, uh, no, they don't. And I want you to see the signs of the jealousy. I want you to recognize when someone is jealous of you and don't think that because this person told you that they love you, they can't show you they can't be jealous because they can. I experienced it with this with my ex so many times. And when I sit back and think about all the times, um, I used to get mad. I used to get upset and angry that uh, I allowed this person to come in and try to steal my joy for eight years. So I now look back at it as a teachable moment. That's why I'm here trying to explain to you uh, and show you some of the signs that I went through so you can recognize that this person has nothing but jealousy towards you and they want to be you, you know. Have you ever been in a place where when you walk in, people are so happy to see you because you just, it's like the party can start when you walk in. And even if you're the type of person, like I'm very um, quiet and mild mannered, but when I go into places, I can see people light up, you know, their faces light up because I'm here now. So the narcissists also see that, you know, and they're very jealous. Another little story. I'll never forget one time um, we went out on date night and we were at the movie theater and um, a co-worker of his came by and she saw him and she spoke to him and she said, oh, you know, um, uh, fancy meet seeing you here and he looked at her and he had this snarl on his face and he was looking at her like she was worthless and then so uh he said oh this is my wife you know and then she says to him oh she's beautiful she's gorgeous and then uh she says to me your husband is so mean he's always talking down to me and he's just so mean to me she you know she said it to be joking joking but then I looked at him I said don't be mean to her and then she said oh you're such a sweetheart you know and then she said I'll let you guys go and she asked what movie we were out to see um so when she walked away and he said oh she's really stupid you know and he started talking about her and I said well she didn't seem to be that stupid I said she's a nurse so um how stupid can she be? And then he said, you couldn't imagine. And then I said, well, you know, you should be nicer to your coworkers. And then he kind of just looked at me and rolled his eyes. But it's the jealousy, you know. Um, she was giving me compliments and um, she talked about how he was to her. And it was almost a comparison in his head. So he felt some kind of way. And throughout that whole evening, um, you would think, well, you know, that was just uh, a person you've seen from work. Let it go and get past that. Um, he had a sour mood the whole evening. And so I was ready after the movie. I was kind of just ready to pick up some food, go home, and just uh, end that date because he just had a real bad attitude. Even in the movie, uh, <clears throat> he was sitting there and just... Um, you know how you, <clears throat> excuse me, you talk during the movie to your person that you with about the movie. Um, he didn't have any conversation. So I noticed that he had an attitude. So I stopped talking and I just, you know, watched the movie. Like I said, after the movie, I was ready to go home and didn't really want to spend too much time. But I want you to recognize the signs of jealousy and um, see it for what it is. 
And if you're still in this relationship, uh, please get out as soon as possible because it's not going to end well. Um, people don't seem to care about people nowadays and it's really present in this year and years past. So get out as soon as possible. Know that God will guide you and keep your head up. If you know someone that's going through this, share this video. If you're going through it, watch it as many times as you need to. And I will see you again tomorrow. Thank you for watching.